it. Just before we start, our um, uniform is the uh, Gurta top for the guys, okay? And Punjabi top or Punjabi for the ladies. Kunku, Abibudi, Chandan, and Kunkum must be present. Hairs tied at the back, okay? Those, for those of you who have long hairs. Okay, let's get started. We'll start with the Vinayaka uh, 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 Puja, I mean uh, prayers. Okay? All right, let's go. Gonna do the next one. What's the next one? Okay, who's gonna do Saraswati? One from the ladies. Let's get uh, Kalyani to do it. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Saraswati Namastopyam Varade Kamarupini Vityarambam Karishami Siddhir Bhavatume Satam Saraswati Namastopyam Varade Kamarupini Vityarambam Harishami Siddhir Bhavatume Sata Saraswati Namastupyam Karate Kamarupini Vityarambam Harishami Siddhir Bhavatume Sata Thank you. Next one. Okay, Diva Jodhya. Uh, guys, Nivedit. Diva Jodhya Param Brahma Deepa Chodir Janatana Deepo Me Haraju Papam Deepa Chodir Namustute Deepa Chodir Param Brahma Deepa Chodir Janatana Deepo Me Haraju Papam Deepa Chodir Namustute Deepa Chodir Param Brahma Deepa Chodir Janatana Deepo me haratu papam, Deepa chodir namustu dev. Ne chada purne, Shankara prana dallate, Jnana vairagya siddhyartam, Dikshan lehi cha parvati. Anna purne sada purne, Shankara prana dallate, Jnana vairagya siddhyartam, Dikshan Dehi Cha Parvati Anna Purne Sada Purne Shankara Prana Dallave Jnana Vairagya Siddhyartam Dikshan Dehi Cha Parvati Thank you. Next one. Gangi Cha. Let's get uh, Saranya to do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Good. Gangi Cha Yamune Chaiva Gotavari Saraswati, Narmade Shindu Kaveri, Shalesmin Shannidim Kurum, Gange Chayamune Chayva, Gotavari Saraswati, Narmade Shindu Kaveri, Shalesmin Shannidim Kurum, Gange Chayamune Chayva, Gotavari Saraswati, Narmade Shindu Kaveri, Aparada Sahasrani Kriyante
Therefore, her work is even prevalent 80, 800 years later on. Okay, the obvious that lived before were like precedes her time, and uh, their works are also there. Also there. Okay. Okay. So, what did we learn about Atisuri? Yes, logician. What did we learn about Atisuri? Yes, the Ahara welcome has the first. Uh, uh, first letters of the Tamil alphabet, Ana and Naina, as you guys just learned in Tamil class. Okay, so that's what you see there. That's the Agarabarka. Like that, for every Tamil letter, there's an Atisuri. Okay, Atisuri is very concise. It shows you how to live your life. Okay, it shows you how you should lead your life in a virtuous way. Okay, that's Atisuri. That's it. Okay, if you follow Atisuri, you're going to get which level of dharma. There are three levels of the levels of dharma. One individual, second for the others, third for the God. Here we promote the third level of dharma. Okay? We want you to do everything for God, always think about God, and keep God at the back of the mind. That does not mean I'm a Swami. I'm 26, I still go partying, uh, I still have a lot of friends, I uh, have a social life, I have uh, uh, I have so many friends, as you can know. All right. Therefore, this is not this is not the message for you to lead a life that's completely separate from society. You, in turn, live in the society as you are living right now. You can be a student, you can be a worker, you can be a mom, you can be a dad, you can be anything. You can be a bad child, you can be a good child. You can be a A student, you can be a D student. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what we promote here is to for you to have God at the back of your mind. So anything you do, you have God there. Okay, that's all we ask. Okay, so the the slokas that you just said, they're all relating back to the third level of dharma. Okay, the God consciousness. Okay, so before taking a bath, you say the Gangi Chayamani. Okay, before eating, you say the Abharadas Endaburne Chalaburne. Before sleeping, you say Abharadas Agastran. These are all meant for you to think about God in every activity you do. Okay, the first one is Aram Sayyavirumu. We talked about that. The second one is, what is the second Adi Suri? What's the second one? Arvad Sinam. Okay, what does Arvad Sinam mean? It's right there. Yes? Control anger. Control anger. Where, where did we talk about anger before? Where? You see it out. We talked about it in Bhagavad Gita and Tirupra. So you see, nothing is different. Everything points, comes together, okay? Krishna doesn't talk about one thing, Thiruvallur doesn't talk about one thing, and Awaya doesn't talk about one thing. They all talk about the same thing, okay? It's control anger, okay? Remember the Thiruvallur we learned? Does anybody remember the Thiruvallur we learned about anger? Do you guys at least know the slide? Which one? What can you get if you control anger? Yes, let's know. That's what she said. This is the issue, right? Anything you want. Is that true? That's true according to Thiruvallar. Thiru, Thiruvallar wrote Thirukkura 2,000 years ago, and he says, if you control anger, you'll get anything. Anything you think of. It doesn't mean you have to think about liberation. It doesn't mean you have to think about God. 
It doesn't mean you have to think about uh, having good education. No, no, no. If you want a uh, luxurious life, like I want, you just control your anger. That's why I'm not, I don't get angry much, as you guys know. I don't, I don't get angry, or I'm trying to reduce it. Let's be honest. I'm trying to reduce it a little bit. For those guys that come to devotional service, they've probably seen me get angry here and there, but that's not real anger. That's just a motivation for you guys to work. I like it when the past part is the helper, and that is not. Okay, let's. Okay, <laughs> cameras <laughs> are Okay, so therefore, through one of as long as, uh, as well as Avaya, uh, as well as Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, talks about controlling anger. And through one verse says, if you control anger, you'll get anything and everything you think of. Now, through one verse cannot be wrong. If what through one verse says is wrong, through one verse cannot exist 2,000 years later. Okay, his book was written 2,000 years ago. And if his work is wrong, nobody would read it. So, I suggest you guys, just like me, try to control anger and we'll see how it goes. It's an experiment. Right? Right? Okay. Alright. Okay. The third one is Yel Bade Karavel. What does that mean, vision? Yeah. So what can you do to help others? Vedan, how do you help others? You don't help others? How? Just tell me one way. I'm sorry, help, help them with their work? Okay, Nirubhan? Okay, but I can have a request. I'm going to be like, can you come and wash my car? Are you going to do it? Can you come and cut my lawn? Or mow my grass, or clean my house, or clean my laundry. Maybe. But we're not talking about paying. It's free. How can you help yeah. others? Are you going to satisfy everybody's needs or wishes? It's not even me. Wish. I can wash my car, but why do I need to get you to wash it? But I'm not, so therefore I wash my car. I'm not going to ask you. All right. So how do you help others? You don't help others. Okay, how do you help others? Helping with homework? Okay, how do you help others? Easy to do something? Okay, you guys don't help your parents? There's a guy here who cuts vegetables, who makes tea for the uh, parents, who even helps the mom cook at times. Okay, we have strengths like those people, no mentioning any names. Okay. But you know who I'm talking about, okay? So there, there are people that do that. There are people that help your parents do their laundry. There are people, as part of their devotional service, they take out garbage uh, garbage at, uh, out for their parents. They water the lawn, or they do stuff for their parents. And extending to that, they also come to the temples and do devotional service with us, okay, under our banner. But they go to uh, temples, like for these guys, they go to temples once per week and help them clean, okay? So our students, they fulfill all the three levels of work. So the new people, I suggest you get in touch with these guys or get in touch with us and start helping. First you start at home, then you move to the community, okay? In that way, you're helping yourself, okay? All right, uh, what else? In that time, there's also a very good devotional service that was done. Uh, as you know, Aaron, he's not here, who brought Babisan, okay? So we gave him a, a, a round of applause. Now it's time to give Arun up. Can you stand up? And your friend too? So Arun and brought his friend to this class. So that's a great service that he did, okay? Because of Arun, somebody else is getting the knowledge, okay? So can we all give him a round of applause, please? Thank you. Also, not only for that, he lives in Richmond Hill. So does the other guy. I just don't know him, his name yet, so the second or third class, okay? They not only come to class, they also come for devotional service once per week at the Selvabhinayagar temple, one hour, this uh, Aaron, he comes and he does service. So think about all the effort him and his parents are doing. They drive from Richmond Hill, they spend their time, they spend their money, they spend their, uh, they let their kids do work, which is great. So another round of applause for Aaron. You need to help others, you don't just need to follow a certain method, okay? You can go out of your way to help people. 